Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Circuit diagram and circuit components. You will be expected to know what each component is and how it behaves in a circuit. Power suppliers, cells and batteries all supply electrical energy to the circuit and driving charges around the circuit. This causes the current. This is the symbol of a dry cell, which gives a directed current. The longer side is positive. The shorter side is negative. This is the symbol of a battery, which consists at two or more cells. It gives a directed current. This is the symbol of a general directed current power supply. This is the symbol of a general alternating current power supply. A switch is used to turn on and off the circuit. The first symbol shown is for an open switch, which means that the circuit is closed. The second symbol shown is for a closed switch, which means that the circuit is open. Fixed resistors, variable resistors, and potential dividers are all used to control current. Higher resistance, smaller current. This is the symbol of a fixed resistor. This is the symbol of a variable resistor. This is the symbol of a variable resistor, or potential divider or rheostat. Its resistance can be varied by moving the sliding contact, which changes the length of the wires and the resistance of potential divider. Lamps or light bulbs glow as the currents flow through. This is the symbol of a light bulb. A thermistor is a temperature sensor. This is the symbol of a thermistor. Higher temperatures mean lower thermistor resistance. For the circuit diagram, when temperature increases, the thermistor's resistance decreases, causing the current from the battery to increase and the voltage across the thermistor to decrease. A light-dependent resistor, or LDR, is a light intensity sensor. This is the symbol of a light-dependent resistor. Higher light intensity means lower LDR resistance. For the circuit diagram, when the light intensity increases, the LDR's resistance decreases, causing the current from the battery to increase and the voltage across the LDR to decrease. An ammeter is used to measure the current is a circuit. It is connected in series with a circuit. This is the symbol of an ammeter. A voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference or voltage an electromotive force or EMF in a circuit. It is connected in parallel with a circuit. This is the symbol of a voltmeter. Diode is a component that allows current to flow in one direction. This is the symbol of a diode. Current is allowed to flow in this direction. For the first circuit diagram, the current flows from the positive to negative terminal, and the diode allows the current to pass through. For the second circuit diagram, the battery is reversed. This causes the current from the positive terminal to be blocked by the diode. A light-emitting diode, or LED, glows when current flows through it in the correct direction. This is the symbol of a light-emitting diode. It glows when current flows in this direction. For the first circuit diagram, the current flows from the positive to negative terminal, and the light-emitting diode allows current to pass through. This causes the light-emitting diode to glow brightly. For the second circuit diagram, the battery is reversed. This causes the current from the positive terminal to be blocked by the light-emitting diode. This causes the light-emitting diode to not glow. Fuse is used to prevent excessive current in the circuit and act as a safety against fire. This is the symbol of a fuse. We will explain the more detail of the fuse in the section of 4.4 electrical safety. A heater is a device that converts electrical energy into heat energy. This is the symbol of a heater. A motor is a device that converts electrical energy into kinetic energy. This is the symbol of a motor. We will explain the more detail of the DC motor in the section of 4.5.5 .5 DC motor. Generator 
is the device that converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. This is the symbol of a generator. We will explain the more detail of the AC generator in the section of 4.5.2 AC generator. A relay coil is used to control a large current using a small current. This is the symbol of a relay coil. For the circuit diagram, a small current flows from the lower battery. This causes the relay coil to magnetize, which switch close switch S1. This allows a large current to flow from the larger power supply, causing the light bulb to turn on. We will explain the more detail of the relay coil in the section of 4.5.3 relay coil. A transformer is the device that converts the voltage from high voltage to low voltage or low to high. This is the symbol of a transformer. We will explain the more detail of the transformer in the section of 4.5.6 transformer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.